Check out these thrilling volleyball P games you can play with any grade to practice your digging, setting, spiking, and serving skills. The first activity is called pass and go to work on passing and setting. Put three feeders on the net with a ball each, and about three meters in front of each feeder, put a passing cone and then have everyone else line up at the side of the court. You can repeat this setup on the other half of the court too, so if you have a large class, do it on the other half. So the players with their backs to the net are the feeders, and everyone else is lined up as passers. So to play this, the first pass in the line moves across to the first cone, and the feeder throws on the ball high in front for the passer to dig the ball back. The feeder catches the ball, and then the passer moves to the next cone and repeats, and then again at the last cone. And once you've passed all three balls, run around to the back of your line and the next player in line comes on to pass. You keep going continuously and after a few minutes, have the feeders switch. Once everyone's had a good practice digging, progress it to an overhead pass, also known as setting. The feeders just need to make sure that they throw the ball up high enough so the passer can set it above their head. Then finally, you can progress it again to have the feeders start on the other side of the net. Make three teams, and each team needs a feeder, a catcher at the net, and a passing line to dig. The feeder throws the ball over the net for the passer to then move and dig into the hands of the catcher, who gives the ball back to the feeder. And you can turn this into a thrilling competition, and the first team to successfully dig and catch 30 balls wins. Remember, when digging the ball, you need to first move so you're in the right position with the ball in front of you. Make sure you contact the ball on your forearms and step to pass it high to your target. When setting, again, move first so when you contact the ball, it's high in front of your head and then step through to push to the sky. The next game is a spiking game called Jailbreak. Line up in two or three lines on one side of the court behind the attack line. And each line needs a few balls each. And the other side of the net is the jail. So the first person in each line moves closer to the net with the ball. They throw the ball up and then spike it over arm to get it over the net to the other side of the court. Now if your ball is hit out of bounds or into the net and it doesn't go over, then you have to go to jail on the other side. So once you're in jail, you're now a catcher and in order to break out of there, you have to then catch another incoming ball before it hits the ground. So if you do that, you're safe and then you can join the back of the line and the player who got caught is now the one that goes into jail. So if you spike your ball and it doesn't get caught, you are still safe. You keep playing until there's one player left surviving at the end. And to make it more challenging, instead of catching, the players in jail have to dig the ball first and then catch it to really work on those defensive skills. Make sure when you're spiking the ball to contact it at the high point of your reach with an open hand like a high five. The last game is a serving game called Battleships. You're going to divide the class into two teams lining up behind the service lines and start with a couple of balls for each side. Each half also needs some targets so you could use for example five hoops spread out and you can also put a pin or something to knock over in the corners. On the whistle everyone serves the balls over to try and get it to bounce in a hoop. Now if a ball is successfully served to bounce on a hoop you get to go and collect it and bring it back to your team and everyone continuously keeps serving and the first team to hit all their hoop targets wins. An added fun part is the pins. So if you knock down the pin on the other side, your team instantly wins the whole round, but note that you're not allowed to guard the pin on your side. When underarm serving, remember to make a fist and swing your arm straight through towards your target. And then you can progress the game to overarm serving. So start with your hitting arm back behind you, throw the ball up and contact it high in front of you with an open hand, just like the spike. So there you have it, three of my favorite games to get you started with volleyball. 
Make sure you have a look at my other volleyball coaching videos as well. And I've even put together a complete volleyball program for P lessons, which is packed with skills, drills, modified games and stations. So do check those out in the links below.